Guten Tag, everybody. Here's an update from our Germany travels. What are we talking about today, Sarah? The Rhine River. Yes, the Rhine River Tour. This tour is basically a tour of a river called the Rhine. I believe in the previously video, or previous video I briefly explained it as the largest river in Europe. That may be wrong. Don't quote me. However, you can quote me, and it's the largest river in Germany. Mm -hmm. Right? That it is. That it is. That's a true fact. Write that down and take it to the bank. Cash mm -hmm. that sucker in, hey? Alright. So, basically, how this little tour happened is you had to go downtown by the central train station, which, for those of you that are wondering, is called the Hauptbahnhof, central mm -hmm. train station. That's German for you, another German lesson. Um, mm -hmm. So we went to the place of business to get picked up. Um, they took us to our destination via tour bus. Yep, air conditioned. Air conditioned, reclined, recl ah, reclined seats, you know, the whole deal. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much fancy spancy kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I kind of slept on the way there, so uh, you guys just passed towns. What'd you guys yeah, pass? it was like a lot of like small towns and like like the streets were like that big and putting a bus through them was pretty. Small towns, vineyards. Yeah. You know, you think the Germans love their beer, but they love their wine even more, which we'll explain later in the video. Mm -hmm. So bear with us. All right, so I don't know, an hour and a half. Yeah. Two hour drive. You depending know. on traffic. Yeah, depending on traffic, whatever. So we ended up getting to some German town. We don't remember the name. Mm -mm. Not important because we didn't spend much time there. Yeah. We basically got there to get on the boat. Yep, it was important where we got off. Yes, which we'll explain later in the video. Uh -huh. Cliffhangers. <laughs> All right, so we got on the boat. Um, a, a fact about that day was it was uh, how hot, Sarah? 90 degrees. Yes, it was pretty darn hot. Not sun a was cloud beating. in the sky. Yep. Um, Dad didn't bring sunscreen, so he yep. burnt the yeah. top of his head. He got pretty red. <laughs> like <Yeah>. a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Silly father. <laughs> um, but uh, I didn't burn because I have Indian blood in me. Um, I didn't burn either. Yeah. Just kidding. Even I though she's Indian blood, but she yeah. burns yeah. more I, than I'm me. I'm like father. <laughs> Figure that out. Anyways, um, how long did we spend on the boat? About an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah. Basically what happened is we drove down, like let's say Frankfurt's here, we drove down here. Boat took us about here to a town we'll tell you about later, and then we drove back at the end of the tour. But that's that's in the future. So, boat ride was good. Yeah. I'd say um, it was very pleasant. We had a, a nice breeze, mm -hmm. uh, lots of good scenery. Um, more specifically, the scenery was vineyards and castles. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yep. And we actually have some video to show you, so we're just going to cut to that real quick, and we'll, we'll be waiting here for you guys to get back. Mm -hmm. Okay, enjoy. And you're back. We've been waiting for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully the quality was good. Hopefully you've enjoyed the scenery that we enjoyed. Yeah, because I took the video, so don't be insulting the video. She was a pro. <laughs> and if she wasn't, don't say anything there. Yeah, I won't appreciate it. But anyways, back to our travelings on the Rhine. Um, we have a story to tell you. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story, not really. Well, anyways, mm -hmm. I noticed there was a bar... Well, yeah, open bar on the <laughs> on the boat, and I was getting kind of thirsty, hungry, so um, I went down there and I got myself an ice cream, you know, just to peak my blood sugar a little bit. I had thought there were Pepsi down there, was a Pepsi, you know, Pepsi-Cola stuff, which later on you'll find out I was wrong. 
So I went upstairs. Dad's like, oh, they have stuff down there. And I'm like, yeah. I said, they have Pepsi. Would you like me to get you one? He said, sure. And then I asked her if she wanted something, and she came down with me. Mm-hmm. So we got ourselves, I got her some ice cream. I got myself a Sprite, I think it was. And I asked for a Pepsi. Mm-hmm. And they said, is Coke fine? And if you know Father, he does not like Coke. He's a Pepsi man. He's a Pepsi man until mm-hmm. he dies. <laughs> so I said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to um, deceive Father. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, got him the Pepsi um, and our other refreshments, brought it up, gave the Pepsi to Father. <laughs> he drank it. And yeah, oblivious. Didn't notice the thing. I asked him how it tastes, and he said, it tastes like a Pepsi. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, silly Father. <laughs> I said, it's actually a Coke. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> tastes like a Pepsi, and then I tasted it, and it actually did taste like a Pepsi, believe it or not. Mm. Weird. It must be the German sugar here or something. Mm. I don't know, but worked out for the best. So that's pretty much the most exciting thing that happened on the, the mm. boat. I mean, we saw lots of scenery. Basically, yeah. it was scenery, 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 scenery. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and some good breeze. Mm. Um, our destination that we got off on is called Osmanhausen. Or if you're from Texas, ass man's house. Just kidding. That was a joke that um, yeah. someone told us. So yeah. we thought we'd share it with you. <laughs> um, yeah, we ended up eating at a restaurant. And um, we don't know the name of the restaurant either. German name. Maybe there's um, factual evidence in a video that we're going to show you, but I don't know. can't tell you. But we had a nice dinner. We had chicken. Yep, chicken um, with coleslaw, coleslaw and like warm coleslaw, and I some sort of drinks. Some people had cokes, some people yeah, had Pepsi, some people had, had water. I had Coke. Father had um wine, which was it's called ice wine, which we'll explain later. Mm-hmm. Some pretty nice stuff. Let's tell you that. And it's pretty hard to. It's make. good, very good. <laughs> yeah, if you like wine. I like wine, and it's good. So um, the other choice was um, carfoffle puffers, which are. <laughs> Potato pancakes, which mm-hmm. Father almost got us because he loves potato pancakes. Yes. So, anyways, dinner went just fine. We actually met a couple from Chicago who were originally from Egypt, and they were just talking, talking, talk, oh, talking, talking areas off. They were adorable. Sweetest couple in the world. Yeah. Um, there's a guy from South Korea. Yeah, there's a man. He was a less talker. I thought he was precious. South Korean <laughs> man who spoke very little English, but still tried to conversate with us. He was so precious. It was good. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a language barrier, but yeah. we... Had a good talk. Excuse me. That's the peanut butter talking. Yeah. Um, then there was another lady at our table from India. Yes, but she was farther down. We weren't really yeah. conversating Well, she was on my end. Like, I was kind of in the middle, and I could still. But oh, gotcha. Anyways, I was just mentioning people at our table. Yep, and then there were people from Texas, so. Yeah, I was kidding. <laughs> you know, the Texas folk. <laughs> He was drinking beer throughout the entire dinner, so he was having a good time. Mm-hmm. So, dinner was done. You had a choice after that to do wine tasting or a tour of the city. We chose the wine tasting. You're in Germany. You gotta what? try the wine because really the wine is more, I don't know, it's in some places is more highly regarded than the beer. Mm-hmm. Even though there are some people that will defend their beer to the day they die. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's a different story. Um, wine tasting. We actually have a video for you here. So we'll just briefly explain it and then we'll cut to video. Basically they gave us four wines. Um, mm-hmm. One red, three whites. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. The red one was actually the most bitter. Then it got sweeter as you got down. Yeah. I don't remember the names of the wine except for the third one, which was the ice wine. Which mm-hmm. I'll explain the ice wine after this video. And again, we'll be waiting right here for you to get back. So enjoy. Get back. Welcome back. Yeah, hello, we've been waiting for you patiently. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, do you know the name of the lady? No, but she we was a character. Good. She, yep, she was a card. 
yes. very interesting card. One you don't find in many decks, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a good way, yeah, I would say. in a very good way. So, yep, she basically, well, one interesting fact, she knew how to say cheers in almost every language. Mm -hmm. Like, I think German is Suval, Sumval or something. Obviously, America's cheers. She knew the way to say it in Indian. She knew how to say it in Japanese. Japanese. Mm -hmm. My goodness, this lady was smart about her alcohol. Yeah. She also um, explained how she got through her divorce with alcohol. <laughs> Specifically, three bottles. Was it three yeah. bottles? Three bottles of wine. Yep. Those Germans can drink, let me tell you. So anyways, I want to explain... Actually, let's talk about this first. How did the wine taste to you, Sarah? You're not much of a wine drinker, are you? Yeah, well, this was the, the first time I've had any type of official alcohol. And legally, because it is legal in Germany. Yeah. So settle down, people. She's yeah. allowed to drink here. So I was like, yeah, I might as well try the wine. So I tried the wine, and I knew that I would never be a wine drinker. But so I didn't particularly like the wine. Which one was your favorite? Uh, I would say we had four of them. I would say the third one was. Third one. That was think, the ice wine. Yeah. And that was, I mean, like, I would never drink it recreationally, but. Yeah, the ice wine was pretty good. Out of all of them, I would say that was the best. I didn't yeah. like the red wine at all. Yeah, the red wine was pretty bitter. and yeah. Not to be insulting to any. Bitter wines, need, you need something to eat it with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. I am more of a wine drinker. I'm not much of a beer drinker. Yeah. I like my liquors sweeter, you know? So mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed the, the middle two, which were the ice wine, then was it the lady killer? Yeah, that was the father's wine. Mm -hmm. So the lady killer, uh, this lady who was guiding us through the wine tasting, she was very joking and going back and forth with people. Well, she looked at father while they are drinking and she's like, oh, you like the lady killer. How many do you need? And father probably said three, because he needs more mm -hmm. to kill the ladies. So <laughs> Which, for you of those out there, it doesn't actually kill ladies, it's more of a pickup tool. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she saw Father and she thought that. Yeah, him and his mustache, his yeah. dapper comb over. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. His slight burnt face. <laughs> he was rocking it that day. Definitely. So. And he um, drank all, like, all the wine. Yeah, he was, he was really like, pounding would, it back. Yeah, I was only drinking a sip. little sips because my liver is not exactly the best. Yeah, and father was like, Phew. he was enjoying himself. That's for yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, so anyways, to the ice wine. The ice wine is actually like you only find it in certain places. I think Canada, Australia. And it's New Zealand, Austria. Uh, New Zealand, Austria, Canada, and, and upstate New York. Upstate New York and Germany. Yeah. The Germans say they are the best, and I actually believe them because they are very, very um, adamant about their alcohol. Mm -hmm. Anyways, how ice wine is made is it's the latest picked grape of the year. It's actually picked closer to December, or actually whenever the temperature drops below 32 degrees. So everything is frozen inside the grape. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is when it dips below 32, everyone and their mother comes mm -hmm. out and helps. Literally, not just the vineyard wine people. Everyone helps yeah. and collects all those. Because it's only one day. Grapes. Yeah, because once they unthaw, they're they're not yeah. good. Yeah, so and it's only one day, and you have to get them all. And they are kept frozen through the entire process. Mm -hmm. And then they juice them like while they're still frozen. Don't yes, they? it takes a lot of um, grapes to make the ice wine. Like it's more than usual. That's why mm -hmm. normally ice wine costs about eighty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, we're talking good. like 80 barrels of, what was it, 80 kilograms? Yeah, something like that. I don't. 80 like pounds. That. It was it was a big number of those frozen grapes to make one two liter bottle, or no, one half liter bottle. Mm. No, maybe it was a third liter bottle. I'm sorry, I don't really know. But basically the ice wine is very sweet because it's a lot of grape. Mm -hmm. And another thing too that Germans like to like people to know is that their wines are purely fermented grape. Yeah. There's no additive, no added sugar, no added chemicals, no added water, like some of the American wines you taste. Like a lot of the like quote unquote imported German wines aren't very good. They don't normally import their good wines. They keep it for themselves if you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. anyways, that was our wine tasting. I enjoyed the wine. I could see myself drinking ice wine once my liver heals up, so in the near future hopefully. 
Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'll ever be a wine drinker. How about a beer drinker? Or a beer drinker? No, I've oh, had no. some beer here too because it's Germany. You drink beer. Of course, you have and to try some beer. No. Especially when it's legal. Yeah. Anyways, because it um, is. This video is getting kind of long, so we're gonna cut it short. I hope you enjoyed the Rhine River tour with us and the um, wine tasting. Yeah. I mean, you were pretty much there, right, with the videos mm -hmm. and us talking. So um. Have a good night, morning, or afternoon, wherever you're at, and um, we will see you soon. Peace. Ciao. Guten Tag.